What's up, wrestling fans? This was super, super predictable. If you guys have been paying attention to my show for the last, well, even for the last year, you know, if you've been here for the last year, I mean, obviously you've been here the last uh, seven years, but if you've been here the last year, you guys know about this whole Ring of Honor thing. Ring of Honor dropped the ball like crazy. I've been bashing Ring of Honor like a like a maniac because, I mean, they just let these guys in AEW back before AEW was created. They let them just use their platform to get themselves over even more and to create their groups and their bullet club and all these other things. And uh, then you got pretty much nothing. They they raped your company. AEW guys, the, the Young Bucks and everybody, raped your company and left you with nobody except Vinnie Marcellia, TK Orion, and Matt Taven. And maybe there's like one or two other people. Uh, Gordon, Flip Gordon's still there or uh, whatever he goes by now. Um, but yeah, they were basically raped. They let everybody get away from them and their their show was like just bare bones. And all these megastars went over someone else and created a whole TV channel, a uh, TV show. Uh, took a million viewers and I have been telling Ring of Honor for years that they should have been able to do basically what AEW is doing. I laid the whole thing out. They never made any move whatsoever, ever. They brought in the guys and and, acquired, and used the talent well, but they allowed the talent to sort of take over, become bigger than their company, and then they never locked them up. And then they never tried to lock them up in a way that this you know wouldn't hurt them. So... That is why now I believe this is a huge course correction desperation. I said this would happen months ago. I said they're going to be in desperation mode. They have to throw money at somebody in something crazy. And uh, that somebody's going to be Marty Skrull because he's still a name to all these like indie th people out there. I don't get it myself. Uh, Marty Skrull is getting main roster WWE money. I don't know what that means. Um I'm assuming that AEW would be able to offer Marty Skrull somewhere around up to $120,000. I'm assuming that AEW would would uh, be able to pay him up to about $120,000. I am uh I don't know the numbers of anything, but I'm just guessing. Now I'm so I'm I'm betting that uh I'm betting that Ring of Honor is got to be offering Marty Skrull or giving him a hundred and fifty thousand dollars to somewhere in the one hundred and fifty to to two hundred range. I don't know. That could be a little more than what they're really giving him. But you you know a AEW said they didn't want a ton of guys, everybody to be having hundred thousand dollar contracts, and uh, AEW obviously has paid a lot of similar talent in the hundred thousands. And they're kind of weary about still doing that. So a lot of people are getting sixty and eighty thousand dollar contracts, but yet some people have gotten hundred and twenty thousand dollar contracts. So I think Marty Skrull at the very most would maybe get one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, hundred and thirty thousand from AEW. But it looks like Ring of Honor stepped up to maybe one hundred and fifty, hundred sixty thousand dollars for Marty Skrull. I don't know the real numbers. That's just me guessing based off the information that we have. But this is no doubt about it. Would I pay the guy? I mean. If I was Ring of Honor, you have to. You have to do something ridiculous. I myself don't understand it. The guy's a good wrestler. Okay, cool. Villain. He carries an umbrella. Like, I don't understand it. I don't I don't get the hype myself. Behind Marty Skrull, I just couldn't give a shit. You know what I mean? He would be like, you know, I just don't get it. But Ring of Honor, as far as their positioning in the world of wrestling, they have to do this. Because he's, he's, he's one of the last big names out there. You know what I mean? Besides, like... Guys in New Japan, like Tanahashi and Okada and stuff like that, names like that. And besides Will Ospreay, he and and he is really the last big name out there. And that's the big thing about Marty Skrull, is he does have a marketable uh, situation for this uh, for this smaller indie fan base, which is anywhere from I don't know thirty thousand people to one hundred fifty thousand people. Somewhere in there is this sort of indie internet base that loves these guys. Um, you know, and I would say that there's really, uh, yeah, that that that's the amount of people that could be watching him in Ring of Honor. Maybe five to ten thousand to twenty thousand people. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So I mean, you got you got to pay for him if you if you're Ring of Honor, you got to do it. And I and I said this. I've already flipped out over this a million times. And they got to sign up Gordon too. That's the other guy. They got to get Gordon. They got to get Gordon locked up. 
uh, because he's solid now, and they they can't allow AEW to get Gordon and and Skrull, you know. So the reason why the, your favorite little guy Marty Skrull won't be coming to AEW is because of AEW, <laughs> because they raped Ring of Honor, and Ring of Honor looks stupid. These guys all made Ring of Honor look like fucking idiots. Ring of Honor looks dumb as hell. Um, these guys were they, they allowed to grow on the Ring of Honor platform. They did shows growing and building their name and getting more exposure. These guys at AEW, the Young Bucks and Omega and just everybody, they used New Japan and Ring of Honor to get their names out there to create their own brand unbelievably smart and the only per and the person that came out looking the company that came out looking dumb was ring of honor wrestling so they have to sign marty scroll so this is a no-brainer obviously saw this coming but there i i will say though that a few a, a month or two ago i i didn't see it coming i i kind of jumped off the bandwagon i jumped into the i said all this five months ago but but a, but a, a month or so ago i said well, maybe Marty will just do one or two months with Ring of Honor, and then they won't be able to pay him, so he's going to go to AEW. So that's really what I thought was going to happen. Like, that's not what I would do if I was Ring of Honor, because I'd say you have to lock him up, but it seemed like that Ring of Honor was going to be unable to match or pay him more than the hundred or ninety or 130000 something that AEW was going to be able to offer Marty Skrull. So I really believe that Marty Skrull was going to go to AEW after a couple months of uh, working Ring of Honor. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. But now we're getting all these rumors that he's just had this mega offer uh, from um, AEW. And I mean, honestly, if I was WWE, if I was WWE, I would scoop in and just take him from everybody. W I mean, wouldn't that be hilarious? WWE just comes in and goes, oh, Marty, that's cute. Uh... Ring of Honor wants to give you 150, 160, and AEW wants to give you 120. Well, why don't you come to WWE NXT and be a star here for two years? We'll give you 250. Imagine that. <laughs> and nobody gets them. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Because I, I, I mean, like, whatever. But there you have it. What do you guys think about this uh, report coming out everywhere that Marty Skrull has been offered WWE main roster money from Ring of Honor? Let me know in the comments down below, and I will be making a video about that. Also, the other day I made a video, and I asked you guys to put your comments down below, and I would talk about some of those comments. So I am making that video after this video, and that will be out later as well. And tonight is Monetize This Live at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, so hope you guys join me for the effed up fun that we're going to have on Monetize This tonight. Mature audiences only. Over on my other channel, Corrupted Nation. And for the rest of you guys, here's some other videos that you might have missed. Keep watching my content right now. I got so much more for you. And if you want to check out all the hours of podcasting, downloadable audio bonuses that I have on Patreon and support what I do, we could use you. Over 385 patrons right now. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. The Patreon link's popping up top right.